In the 60s, Gladys Porter traveled the world and saw animals of every kind. When she returned home, she built a zoo where people could trek through the ruins of El Mundo Huasteco y Totonaco, now inhabited by curious capuchin monkeys. Journey to Indo-Australia, where calls of majestic rhino hornbills echo as they take flight. Ramble through dense African rainforests with acrobatic colobus monkeys traversing overhead. Wander through South America, where bellowing Orinoco crocodiles lurk in the still waters. And now we continue her legacy by bringing an animal never before seen at the Gladys Porter Zoo. North American river otters sliding down the Otterbahn. Sisters Tallulah and Imnaha are making their debut in a brand new splashy habitat. Get a crystal clear view of these inquisitive critters as they glide down the winding slides and make their way into your hearts. Otterbahn now open at the Gladys Porter Zoo. Welcome, I hope you enjoyed the video. As, as someone who worked closely with Gladys Porter, I know she would be proud of the new Otterbahn exhibit and of our hard work and commitment to preserving vanishing species of wild animals and wild places over the last 50 years. Just like we're excited to exhibit North American river otters for the first time at the zoo. We're also excited to welcome all of you. On behalf of the Gladys Porter Zoo, we are grateful to everyone who is participating in and watching our first ever virtual ribbon cutting. First and foremost, we want to thank the city of Brownsville for making this all possible. We could not have made this a reality without your generous donation. Once again, thank you for your continued support enabling us to operate as a world-class zoo. Up next, Esme from Brownsville Chamber of Commerce, Annie Holland Miller, President of the Valley Zoological Board of Directors, Walter Dupree, Curator of Mammals, and Mayor Trey Mendez will be sharing their thoughts regarding the new Otterbahn exhibit. Hello, my name is Esme Villarreal, and it's my great pleasure as a proud president and CEO for your local Brownsville Chamber of Commerce to welcome you to the virtual ribbon cutting ceremony for the Gladys Porter Zoo's new Otterbahn exhibit. This is the first time the zoo has exhibited these adorable creatures that I know our community will fall in love with. Gladys Porter Zoo first opened its doors on September 3, 1971, and since then has been a linchpin to tourism to the city of Bronzeville and the Rio Grande Valley by welcoming an average of 432,000 visitors annually. In the midst of a historic downtown Bronzeville, the Gladys Porter Zoo, along with the various historic museums, serve as the anchor to the Minicultural District that keep the economic engine of Bronzeville strong. On behalf of the Bronzeville Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors, staff and members, we congratulate the Gladys Porter Zoo staff and Valley Zoological Board of Directors for building this impressive exhibit that will help it remain a top-notch zoo for the community to enjoy for years to come. On behalf of the Valley Zoological Society Board of Directors, I first and foremost want to thank the zoo staff for the incredible work and dedication that they put into creating this awesome new river otter exhibit. Our zoo staff works so hard each and every day, taking care of the animals, taking care of the grounds and facilities, and also taking care of all of the things that have to happen day to day to keep the zoo running. We as a community are so incredibly grateful to you and we are forever indebted to you. We also want to thank the City of Brownsville for your continued support of our zoo. Without your contribution, there is no way we could have created this space that allows the river otters to mimic behaviors that they display in the wild. And finally, a reminder that the Gladys Porter Zoo is not Brownsville Zoo. It is a true gem of the Rio Grande Valley. It is important that we have the support from the entire Rio Grande Valley. And we can't wait for you to come out and see this awesome new exhibit. Hello everybody. Thank you for joining us and being here uh, watching today. Uh, I'm Trey Mendez, your mayor. And it gives me the great honor and privilege to uh, be talking to you all here today. Uh, about the new River Otters exhibit at the Gladys Porter Zoo. And this is something that's really exciting for us. Uh, for me, not only is the zoo our biggest asset in Brownsville, it's definitely our biggest tourism driver and brings a lot of money into the community. And in this new normal, this new pandemic that we're living in, uh, I'm excited to see that the zoos continue to make progress, doing a lot of virtual exhibits, 
I've been keeping up with it and, and I really have uh, enjoyed all the things that are happening at the zoo. This new river otter exhibit uh, is really a unique experience. It's in the former Bear Grotto uh, that has now been uh, repurposed and transformed into the River Otter exhibit. So uh, great things happening at the zoo and, and I'm really excited uh, as mayor and on behalf of the city of Brownsville to welcome the, the new exhibit. Thank you to everybody at the zoo. Thank you for all the work you've done in uh, keeping the community informed and engaged with this wonderful exhibit. A fantastic zoo and um, we're doing as much as we can to make this even better going forward. So thank you all so much and uh, kudos to the zoo and their staff. Thanks. This particular exhibit has a lot of features that are designed specifically to enhance natural behaviors of the river otters such as these slides, these log slides will have a current of water coming through them and otters are naturally inquisitive and hopefully within the first day or two they'll start using the water slides but there's a variety of substrates like there's dirt for them to groom in and roll and dig which they naturally do in the wild and a large pool in the front which will be nice cool and refreshing for them to swim around in so we're hoping that this is going to be a really active and exciting exhibit for zoo visitors to watch and the otters are just naturally playful, so it should be fun. Directly behind me, you see Gustavo Gonzalez of Gonzalez Construction, who does all the artistic creation on all of our recent exhibits. He's a wonderful fabricator. We even used actual uh, casts off Montezuma cypress trees to recreate Montezuma cypress and North American river otters, they go together. They were here in the Rio Grande Valley and that's what we're trying to achieve is to have as natural a habitat experience as we can present to zoo visitors. Hi, welcome to Gladys Pointer Zoo. Don't know if you've noticed, but the last couple times you've come by, we've had the area blocked off where I'm standing now so you really couldn't see. This is along the bear area. But that's because we're excited to bring North American river otters to the Gladys Pointer Zoo for the first time. We think this is an excellent addition to our collection. Uh, we're really looking forward to having them out here. And as you can tell, it's a brand new exhibit. We think you're gonna really enjoy it. And we hope that you do anyway. Uh, the otters, we have two otters coming out. They're sisters, the Emnaha, which we have trouble saying, so we call her Emmy. And then we have Tulula. It's the two that we have. Emmy is actually a very outgoing otter and she plays around quite a bit. Where Tulula is not quite as outgoing as uh, Imnaha is, but they're both very friendly and they really like their keepers. Uh, and we work with them on a daily basis. And the team we have working with them are really hardworking uh, keepers. And what we have is Leslie, Rachel, Joseph, and Jonathan, uh, and Mark heads the department. So those are the five keepers that we have. They take care of these guys, the gorillas, the lions, and the tigers. So whenever you see them, just say hello to them. I know they'll enjoy that. And now let's cut our virtual ribbon. We want to invite all of our, our patrons to come to the zoo. Uh, we're doing everything imaginable to make it a safe and pleasurable experience for you to come out here. 
Uh, we have 25% occupancy on our building areas and we're monitoring that closely. Uh, we're open on Friday afternoons from four till seven, but you can stay on the zoo grounds till dusk. And on Saturdays and Sundays, we're opening early, like at eight in the morning and staying open till four. But again, you can stay on the grounds until you've completed your visit. We want everyone to come out and enjoy the new exhibit, our new other new exhibits, and have a nice time here at the Gladys Porter Zoo. And we're doing everything we can to make sure it's a safe and fun experience for everyone.